Hello my lovelies, how y'all out there doing? My name is Jenny and welcome to my channel. I'm so glad to have every one of you lovelies out there with me today. So as you can tell by the title of this video, we are here to talk about everything BoxyCharm. I don't know why my voice sounds like I got a country accent because I don't have one. I don't know. I got adjusted at the chiropractor. Maybe he put a little bit of country in me when I went. Anyway, well, I do live in West Virginia, so you never know. And speaking of which, he, he kind of adjusted at, like, everything, like, all over. He didn't crack my back. He didn't do that. He adjusted my lower back, but it's pushing and trying to get it back because it's, you know, degenerative disc disorder. It kind of goes where it wants to sometimes. And he did. I've been having problems with my left arm going to sleep. And then it, it just doesn't really go to sleep. It just gets really heavy. And then my right hand gets purple. So he did something like up in here because he said that it could be related because I keep dropping stuff. So he like put something back. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how many times I drop things. Anyway, so what I'm doing is I am going to talk about the base box, which is $25. And we're going to compare it to this month's premium box, which is $35. And I used a few things in the box because I'm trying to do that, but I just got the boxes in over the weekend. Today is the 26th, the 26th of April, and I just got my boxes on Friday and Saturday. I was like, holy crap, when am I getting my boxes? It's the end of the month, and I finally just got them. And I think it was kind of like that for everybody. I think everybody was kind of getting them toward the end of the month because they didn't even have choice open. You know, where you get to pick one item in your base and two items in your premium box. They didn't have it till the 19th. And they usually have it like around the 10th, 12th, 13th of the month. And they didn't have it till the last part of the month, which I thought that was kind of weird too. And one thing, speaking of the choice, if you do sign up for BoxyCharm, like I said, you get to choose one item in your base and two items in your premium. And then you get to have like um, the add-on shopping. And then quarterly, you get a pop-up, which pop-up's amazing because they got all kinds of good deals. The one thing that I have to complain about, and I've, you've probably heard me talk about it before if you haven't been here before, then we'll talk about it now, is that yes you get great sales but one thing i don't like that they do is they'll put like a value on something in here and my friend ashley brought it up she says that a lot of times you'll see like something they'll say it's like a 135 dollars value but then you'll see it and pop up pop up and add on for like 12 dollars. so they do that and then something else they do is that they'll give you the sale before you get your box and then some of those things are in that sale, so you don't know whether it's going to be in your box or not. And I've had that happen to me. Like, I'll see something I really, really, really want, and I'll see that it's going to be in your box. It'll tell you, like, in the corner, you know, in, in April's premium box or whatever it happens to be. And I'm thinking, well, I don't know if I'm getting in my box or not, so I'm going to buy it, but then I might get it in my box. In my case, it works out for me because I can put it in giveaways. But people that don't have channels, that don't have someone to give a product away to, what are they going to do with it if they, you know, want to get it? I don't like the way they do that. I think that you should have your choice after. Like, do you, everybody get their boxes and then do your choices. That way, you know, or your sales. That way you're, you already know what you're getting. They should give you your, the boxes should be at the, the first week of every month. Everybody should already have their boxes already sent out and then they should do the sales. That way everybody knows what they're getting so that when these sales come around, you're not buying something twice because something I already bought is something I got in one of these boxes, so I know it's gonna be a giveaway. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter to me, because I can give it to you guys, but some people, like I said, not everybody can do that. So, yeah. So anyway, we're gonna talk about the base box first, and then we're gonna go from there. Um, I wanna go ahead and just get everything out. I did not weigh my boxes. I'm not gonna weigh my boxes anymore. I think the reason people ask for the weight is so they can say okay I've already seen that video on that so I'm not gonna watch the rest of the video because I already know the weight and I already know what's in the box I'm not doing that anymore I'm not gonna do it anymore um, and I do already know uh, two things in this box will be in a giveaway just to let you know that ahead of time if you haven't been here before what I do every month is I put things that I can't use in the boxes and I give them back in my monthly or bi-monthly giveaways in this case it will go into my May giveaways because I am going camping this Friday so I won't be having a monthly giveaway. Okay, so the first thing I will talk about is um, what I used today on my face, and it is the choice item I had for this month, and it's the Icy Sherbert Primer. Um, it's the silicone-free cooling primer by Touch of Soul. If you do not know, this is made in Korea. So I was happy about that because I love Korean products, and this is what it looks like on the outside. Um, and it says that it's $32 value, 
lock your looks in place and keep them cool with the Icy Sherbet Primer. It's like I said, it's, it's a gel type primer. It's silicone free, locks in your moisture, just like I just said. This is the, let me put the lid back on it. This is what it looks like. I think it's really pretty. So it's be pretty sitting on your, your vanity, on your, um, your bathroom sink, wherever you put it, it is glass. And this is what the inside looks like. And I first saw it, I'm like, what? But it smells like it has rose in it. And that's the only thing, like when I smelled it, I was like, you know, it smells like it's got roses in it, but I couldn't find like a rose word in it. Like I'm reading it, there's nothing that says it has rose in it. It just has fragrance. So, and you know, it's got the color red. So it smells like it has roses in it. So I just can't like smell it. You know what I'm saying? But when I put it on my face, I didn't smell any rose. And I like to use my, um, my Anissa Care brush to put my primers on, but I couldn't do it with this because this is a very thick consistency. See what I mean? This is what it looks like. Um, but when I put it on, I had to like put it, like rub it between my fingers because it looks like it's a silicone coat. But when you do this, it just dissipates. It turns into like a water and it's gone. It's gone. It's completely gone. So there's no leftover um, gel type feeling when you put it on your skin. Um, I'm not really noticing anything about it. Um, I had a mask going to the doctor's office, so I had to come back and kind of touch up my face and kind of repowder things. So I'm not really going to get like a an overall true feeling of the way it feels. But I mean, I didn't have any problem with makeup going on with it. I'm using a new sponge, which right now I'm like really, really liking it. Um, it's called the Stands Out Beauty. This side is for foundation. Um, these two sides are for your concealer. And then you have these sides here that are for powders it's really good like I really like it I really really like it uh, I've been talking about it on um, Instagram I'm getting ready to actually do in conjunction with them they actually made me an affiliate they liked my video so much they made me an affiliate which I think is really cool but I'm getting ready to do a giveaway with them um, so look over on Instagram I'll be starting it next week after I get back from camping um, I don't know when you actually see this video I'm gonna try to get it on by the end of the month so starting um, on I'll be starting this giveaway on May May 1st it's when I'll be starting the giveaway on Instagram so you can win a free stands out beauty sponge and it's just the coolest thing ever. But when I put on my makeup, I didn't have any problem. It didn't, you know, it didn't do anything weird. So that that's not bad at all. The other thing I'm trying, um, it's a mascara and it's by um, Queen Studio, Q-V-E-E-N. It's, it's called the Dragon Lash Mascara. Um, it says it's supposed to be lash doubling, volumizing, length it separates. It says it gives you a flirty, intensely black lash uh it's got a tubing mascara um it says it has polymers and it's worth 18 dollars. this is what the the box looks like right there this is what the tube looks like the tube kind of almost reminds me of um the tarte man eater this is what the box kind of the, the container and i like the wand it's a silicone wand it's kind of flexible Usually I don't like the flexibilities, but I like this one. And I'll show you what the wand looks like. That's what the wand looks like right there. It's not curved or anything. It's just a basic wand, but it has these little teeth on it. I don't know if you can see that or not. But I did use that. Um, but when I came home, so I had it on for five hours. Um, and some of it had already started to kind of, my eyelashes are weird. I can't really say this is what happened to yours. But after chemo, my lashes, they just do weird things. They fall out still sometimes. Um, they don't always hold mascara the same as they do on other people. But when I show you something that's in the other box, then I'll, I'll bring you in close. And I'm also trying out another mascara. It's from Korea. And this has a really skinny little wand. And I'll show you this one, but you almost don't see it. <laughs> but it's really, really tiny. Um, and I use that on my bottom lashes in a little bit, like to fill in some spots on the top. So it's kind of going to be a little distorted, but I really do like the mascara and I like this one too. It's just called, um, Une. Um, but I do like it. I really, really like it. Like really like it. It's definitely going to be something I'm going to be using on a daily basis for a while. So between that, cause I have to, I have to do a review on this one. So anyway, the next thing I got is from Natasha Denona. I got Natasha Denona. This is the Anya, um, or I think it's uh, it's an uh, A Y A N A. So I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. But this is for forty eight dollars. But you could buy it on Adam for twelve. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. And this is one that I actually bought. So one of these will be in a giveaway. So this is this one. Um, and I don't know timing wise 
if I have the other one in time or whether it'll be this one. One of them, I haven't touched it yet, so one of them's gonna be in the giveaway for May. So that's what the palette looks like. So I'm not gonna swatch it just in case, but it's a very hard case, it's very, very compact. I mean, very um, sturdy, compact, that's what I was trying to say. Okay, the next two things will be in my giveaway. And that is um, the George Georgette Klinger Vitamin C Mask. Um, and the reason it's going to be in there is because it has our, where's that? Um, I saw it somewhere. Let me see. It says, da, 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 da. it's got avocado oil in it. Um, it's a infused with vitamin C. It's a clay based, clay based mask. It has argon and avocado oils. This is what it looks like. The value on this is $36. And I'll show you the container. And it's right there. Which you wouldn't expect it to look like that, right? Um, I don't know if I can open it. Yeah, and it has a pump. It has a pump thing. And it says use two or three times a week. And you use it before your toner and it just has avocado oil so i can't use that okay and the next thing is the manicadar pluck it two-piece eye tweezers set for 18 dollars. i don't have eyebrows these are drawn on um so obviously i can't use these one's a pointed tweezer and one is a slanted tweezer the only thing i use tweezers for is if i get like little spots of hair like you know i noticed that i really need to do my um shaving and I know I put too much powder on my face, but anyway, I need to do my, my dermaplaning, but sometimes I'll miss a hair or something. That's what I use it for, but these two are going to be in a giveaway. All right. Um, I'm not going to tell you the values just yet. So just going to wait. So the next thing is our premium box. I'm just going to get everything out and sit it right here in front of me. It's a little easier that way. And there's a little story behind this one as well that I'll tell you about. Um, actually, I want to show you the first thing I have on my face here. That way I can bring you in. Because the first thing I have on my face is my choice item. This is what I decided I wanted. And it's by Iconic. And it is the palette. It's kind of hard to see it through there. But it's palette. Um, and this palette is the Iconic London Sunset to Sunrise. There's 20 sh shades in here. It's worth $62, it said. But, you know, they had another one in there that I got last year. I think I paid like 20 bucks for it on add-on. So look at your add-ons and pop-ups because it'll be on there. If it, I think it was actually. But this is what it looks like right here. And I used um, colors I used. I used this one. And then I used a tiny bit of this one. And I realized I didn't really want to use that one. So then I went back with this one right here. And I used this one right here. And then I used... I started to use that one, but I changed my mind and decided to use that one. So those are the only colors I used when I did use this one on the outside corner underneath. But look how pretty that is. And if you guys know me, you know there's all my colors right there. It is made in China. Um, it says FSC, which is... It doesn't say what FSC means. I don't know if it's... Is it cruelty-free? Um, it does not say on there. Yeah, I don't know if it is or not, to be honest with you. doesn't say it's made for Australia or no not Australia Ireland made in UK I really don't or made for UK I don't really know I should look that up but actually I went to the doctor and stopped and got something to eat with my son through the drive through came home checked on two snakes that are supposed to be laying their eggs and then I was gonna wait for my husband to get home that he called he's gonna be late so I decided well I'm gonna do some videos real quick then and that's that's why I wasn't quite prepared to do them. So I did a little touch up on my face itself because like I said, I had a mask on. I had little indentations up through here. But anyway, I'm gonna bring you in and show you what I did with this palette. And then you'll see my eyelashes. And um, I used something else on here too, but I got a little story to about that one, so. Okay, this is what the eye look looks like. Okay, hopefully you can see it because like I said before, without my glasses, I can't really tell. So I'm gonna close my eyes and this is what I got. And if you're seeing white on here, it's not liner. I'm gonna put on my uh, P. Louise base. I put the, I put too much on, and I had it on a, um, a brush, and it got real close to my ash, my my um, 
mascara line. I lost my train of thought. Mascara line or my, like, you know, the line right there. And I don't put um, liner up top. I only put it on the waterline. And it looks like I freaking got a really pretty glitter line. But it's not. It's just that. But anyway, that's what it looks like. Really, really like it. Um, it looks like a sunset, sunrise, like the palette says, look. So I really do like it. I think it's really pretty. Um, I haven't worn these colors for a long time. So I was kind of gravitating toward the purple. This is why I started to put purple like right in here. But then I went with like the darker, deeper purple to kind of give that sunset um, look to it. And I like it. I like it a lot. Now for the inner rim, that's what I want to talk about, okay? So I showed you the inner rim, okay? Um, the next product I'm going to talk about is for the inner rim. So we're going to talk about that one. Um, the inner rim is actually a shadow. Uh, uh, um, I need a haircut, guys. <laughs> um, it's going to be this right here, but it's the colors. And it is an eyeliner. This is the box, just, you know, those are the colors. It's worth $15. It says it's a long wearing creamy liner that delivers a transfer resistant, high coverage matte finish. It does have a built in sharpener here on the bottom. And the color that they gave me is called. Um, what is it called? Oh, it's called Unbox. That's the Unbox. It's just called Unbox. Really? Just Unbox? I guess it's called Unbox. It says Unbox Liner. Okay. So this is what the container looks like. It's pretty neat because you almost think you could probably use that to like blend it. I mean, I've done that before. It's metal, so I don't know if that's really smart. But anyway, you pull this off and this is where your eyeliner is. So it's got this kind of tip to it right there. Okay. It looks almost like a lip liner and you probably could actually use it as a lip liner. I don't know. I've seen people do that before, but I put it in my waterline and by the time I got home, which I said was like, you know, it's been five hours um, since I've put it on, it started to come off like, like right, well, right here, right here in the front, it started to come off. And then a couple other places it started to kind of come off. It's coming off. Um, well, I'll bring you back in again. It's come off. All right, I'll, sh I'll show you. I'll show you a point. All right, so it's come off right here on the inner corner. It's come off out here on the outer corner. And I went back in and kind of just touched it up with another eye, pe eye pencil that I got in another box just to kind of put some color back in there. But you can see the different in the difference in the color, like in those spots. Um, you can see where it's come off. So it didn't even last um, those five hours. My color pop lasts in my waterline. This did not last in the waterline. I tried putting it up top, but I couldn't see it. Um, I like to wear the black up top because it makes my lashes look fuller. Because like I said, I still have some spots where I'm still losing lashes. It just, it's part of my chemo. They told me the, because the medication I got during chemo causes permanent hair loss in some people. And that's why I don't have eyebrows. He told me that would be permanent with me. Um, but I do like it. I like the color. It's different. You know what I mean? Um, so obviously I'll be keeping that. Okay. The next thing I got... It's something that I've had in my box before. So they told me that even though this item has $135 value, they gave me a $12 credit. So yeah, they gave me a $12 credit, even though it's worth $135. Because obviously you can't do that for a $30 box. So they did give me a $12 credit. And the item that I have, I can't keep because I'm allergic to the ingredients in it. So it will be in a giveaway like it was last time. And I wish I could use it because it is amazing. You know, because it's something I love. And something I use like a couple times a week. And it's sheet masks. It's about 111 skin, but it's a rose sheet mask. Um, there are five, yeah, there's five sheet masks. It's the rose gold brightening treatment. Like I said, it's worth $135. So it will be in a giveaway to you guys. So yeah, I can't, can't use that one. And then the last thing in this box is really cool. I actually used it. It's the um, Incredible Duo Glass Crystal Lip Balms. There's two of them in there. And so is my tall hair. <laughs> Embarrassing. Um, actually, one more thing. I'm sorry. Um, and it is, it's called, well, there's two more things right in front of me. Oh, Jenny. Oh, my God. It is, and I'm going to take these out of here so you can see them. It is called Crystal Ball Roller Gloss Duo. They actually have crystals in them. So one has, um, let me see if I can find it on here. One has amethyst. And it says the crystal uses chakra healing powers. And one has... What's the other one have? 
rose quartz. This one has rose quartz. This one has amethyst. So I'm going to show you the rose quartz first. And I have been using them. So just to let you know. Let's get the rose quartz in it. Is that cool or what? It was so, that's so cool. I think that is the coolest thing. There they go. And then the other one has amethyst in it. Let me get these mixed up. There they go. But the only thing was when I used the rose quartz one, I had to like roll it several times to get the anything to come out of it. And it's like really close. I don't know if you can tell or not. The roller ball is really close to the edge. So it kind of scrapes. So if your lips are really, really dry the way mine were this morning, you really have to kind of, you know, to get it to come out. But I do like them. So I really like them. Okay. The value. Did I tell you the value? I don't know if I told you the value. It's $24. Um, they are cruelty free and vegan. Um, and it does have the European seal, the little E right there, because Europeans take all the junk out that America does not take out. Just to let you know that. Now, I do have two more things. And then, I'll, then I'll get my brain right here. I got another Natasha Denona palette. How many people were getting two Natasha Denona palettes in their, in their cases? I don't know. But this one actually came with an outside cardboard, plus it had an inside. Now, I don't know why that one didn't, but this one did. And this one is um, another $48, it says. And this one is the Coral, which I've always wanted this for a long time. So when I got it, I was like, oh my god, I got the Coral, I'm so excited. And this is what it looks like. Look at this, I'm so excited. Ooh. These are my colors, like kind of like I have one right now, right? So I've wanted this one for a very long time, so I was very excited to get this. Very excited. So I'm going to add this to my Natasha collection. Okay. And then the last thing, this is really the last thing, are these two, come in a little laundry bag, they are called the um, Lux and Willow Four Piece re Reusable Bamboo Makeup Remover Cloths. So that's interesting because I have, um, you know, my um, makeup erasers and I use them all the time. But these here say, they are 70% natural bamboo and 30% organic cotton. They are reusable up to 250 times and they are cruelty free. But it says they have um, a cancer reproductive harm. It's got the P65 warning on it and I'm not really sure what that means. Um, that's kind of weird to have on a makeup remover cloth. So if any of you guys out there, I know like California has that regulation. We don't have that here in West Virginia. So if you're from California, Danielle, I know you are. Maybe you can tell me what that means because I don't know what that means. Um, especially for makeup remover cloths. I don't really know what that means. And I'm trying to unlock it. It's got like a little clasp on it here. So I'm trying to figure out how to open it so we can look at these cloths. Because I haven't, I haven't opened them yet. So I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. So how are you guys doing while I'm opening this up? Are you having a good start to your week or whatever time of the week you're watching this? Are you having a good week? I'm excited about going camping, but I'm also like a nervous because we are going to a new campsite that we've never been to. They were calling for rain this weekend, but now they're only calling for, calling for it for Friday. But it's supposed to be cold, like 65 degrees where I live and 49 degrees there during the day and 35 at night. And my camera's going to cut off and then cut back on or will cut off. So as, as I'm opening this, I'm going to turn my camera off and turn it back on so I can get this undone. Okay, I sit back in the middle of cutting it out. So I finally got it open. And these are what the cloths look like. There's four of them in here. And they're this little, they look almost like terry cloth. I want to wash them, obviously, before I, I use them. Um, which is what you're supposed to do with the makeup eraser cloths, too. So any of you guys that get the makeup erasers and you try to use them and you think they're not working right, you have to wash them first. And I'm sure it's going to probably be the same way with these. These are pretty neat. Um... I don't know if it has worse instructions. Let me see if it does. Um, no, it doesn't. Inside the cotton bag are four removable pads. And it says reusable. Um, it, there is no care instructions. Oh, wait a minute, maybe it's inside. Here we go. Okay, it says, how to use, apply your favorite makeup remover or use a cleanser with water. Okay, so you have to use a cleanser with these. Gently wipe the face in circular motions 
wipe other side of pad to remove any residue, collect any used pads in the mesh and wash the machine dry. Okay, so you have to use these with a makeup remover. So when I use my balm, I can use these. I'm gonna try these and see how they work. And I'll let you guys know if anything weird happens with them. All right, so overall, let's talk about the price of the, ba the, the boxes. The base box, I'm sorry, my brain. I don't know if I'm having, I've been having a lot of those cigarette smell, smell and seizures. I've had so many for the last week. So many. This is the most I've had in probably a month. And I think it's my anxiety because anxiety can bring these seizures on because of the camping trip. I really do. Um, but the base box is worth $152. And then the premium box. Now, before the $135, because I always do this if they have real expensive items. The base, base box didn't have any like real expensive over the top items this time, which is good. They really didn't. The most expensive things was the primer, $48. And that's, you know, decent price. Um, these were $135. So if you take off the $135, it's $304 box, which is still a good price box. Um, or with it, I mean. It's, 300, it's $304 with it, I'm sorry. Um, if you take off this, it's $181. But if you take my credit off, my box is worth $169. So, yeah, it's a $181 box without this. But if you have to add this in because it's put your boxes, right? So the box is worth $304. But my box, my box is worth $181 because they gave me that credit. So does that make sense? I don't know if I said that right. I might have said it wrong. Let's back up. Back, 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 back. I'm not going to edit it out because i got to show you my stupidity. So the box is worth $304. If you take out the price of those masks, because that's the most expensive thing in the box, your box is worth $169. I still said it wrong. Cut, start over. If you take out, yeah, 160, yeah, I was right, $169. Oh my gosh. Yes, I'm, I'm not going to cut that out either. $304. If you take out the price of them, your box is worth $169. Mine is technically worth $181 because they gave me $12 credit for those. So yeah, so my box is not worth the 304 because they, that was something I already had. So they gave me $12 for that $135. So my box is only worth $181. Your box would be worth $304. That's what, that's what I'm going to say. So out of both boxes, um, I am actually going to give away three things, which is really good for me. Um, Cause last couple months, I haven't been doing that good. I haven't been, I've been getting rid of a lot of stuff the last couple months. Um, let me make sure I'm not missing anything in any of these boxes before I toss the boxes to the side. And, uh, all right. So yeah, so I've, I've kept a lot of the things here. I've kept the palette. I've kept the, the Natasha Denona, but like I said, I did order an extra one of this onion one that I'll be giving away um, in, in the next, next month's box. So yeah, I think I did pretty good. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, so out of 11 items, I mean, I did good. I did good. This was a good box. It wasn't like over the top, like, oh my God, everything's so great. I love everything that's in my box. I'm so excited. It wasn't like that, but it was like, hey, this isn't a bad month. Um, could be better. Could be a lot worse because the last two months have not been that great for me. So this wasn't too bad. So what do you guys think? Um, do you like this month's box? If you get BoxyCharm, has this been a good month for you? Um, has it been better than the previous months? Because I know coming out of the gate for 2021, from in my opinion, wasn't the best. So for them to make it to April before we got a decent box, some people were like, gave up on BoxyCharm. A lot of people were canceling BoxyCharm because of the first couple of months. I stuck with it because I really do like BoxyCharm. It is one of my favorite boxes, but Ipsy's kind of making its round, kind of getting on my brain a little bit. You know, it's making my noggin go, huh? Mm hmm, you know what I mean? I just don't like the fact that their add-ons and pop-ups aren't very good. Saying that, I don't like the way that they, they do their add-on pop-up situation like I was saying and the fact that you gotta wait so long. I'm still waiting on um, a replacement product that I was supposed to get from last month's box. I haven't got yet. It's, it's, it's been shipped though. That's, that's a plus. Anyway guys, let me know in the comments what you think. Um, good and bad. You know, the good things about the box, the bad things about the box, the overall thought process on BoxyCharm for you guys. And do not forget 
to check me out on Instagram, doing that, that one giveaway I was telling you about starting on May 1st. Um, and then I usually run my giveaways the 15th to 30th over there, unless I do go on vacation, then I switch the days up some, um, cause I go on vacation again in May. Uh, I go the, and, yep, it's not gonna interfere next month. So we'll be good over there next month too. So if you haven't subscribed, hmm, what are you supposed to do? If you like what you see, subscribe. Hit the bell notification, like my videos, all that good stuff that we YouTubers ask for you to do because we love you. Or I do. I don't know about the other, other YouTubers out there trying to get money. I don't get that because I am a long way off from getting that. I'm just trying to build my, my base up over here because I love doing this. I really do. And some weeks, you know, I've said it before and I'll say it again, my mental illness gets the best in me and sometimes I just can't sit down here. Um, it takes a lot. It takes a lot. I don't think you realize it. My friends do. My friends have been with me for a long time. They know how hard it is sometimes for me to get on here. And sometimes I'll go a long time. Sometimes we'll see the shirts that I wear over and over and over because I have to film a bunch of videos at one time just to get myself on here. And sometimes my videos go on for half an hour because I talk a lot. And that's okay because sometimes talking out things helps not only me, but it helps you guys as well. And that's what I'm here for. So if you guys ever want to talk, if you have any issues you want to talk about, just shoot me a DM over on Instagram and I'll get to you as soon as possible. I love you guys. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Take care of yourself. Be good to yourself and be good to each other. Stay safe. Remember, makeup is fun. It's what you want it to be. Make it your own and go out there and have fun and come back and see me again. Bye guys.